we're here with Lewis Walker. with great honour and uh, respect and uh, I, I'd like to introduce you to Lewis Walker uh, who would like to share a message today at this time, uh, 29th of October 2014. Uh, we're here in the Nimbin Cultural Centre and uh, how are you today Lewis? Who will be? Jingala with it. Hello. How is all going today? A message, a story, and a song. For a sovereign journey. A journey begins in life with the understanding. Understand the spirit wind. The goodness in the spirit fire. The understanding. The goodness and the spirit of that water. As the old people always thinking. And now what they and speak. The goodness to the spirit of this land. So the understanding of being sovereign with me and my family brothers and sisters, non-indigenous and indigenous. To respect a spiritual journey of the original people. is so strong with the spirit of this land that we live upon, this blood and bone. The spirit of the red soil is the blood of our land. The rocky outcrops, they are the bones of our land. So we live in an ancient place with song lines. And old trading routes. Bathing place. Men place, woman place, marriage place. And sharing the knowledge as the hunters gathered up the people and went walkabouts. And that's a spiritual journey of us being so sovereign upon our own land. Hunting and gathering is a spiritual journey. Sharing and caring 
is also unconditional spiritual journey. So the message is it's time to stand together and stand beside each other. And let's have emotion catch up with our spirit and be in tune with the spirit of this land. As a wild man of a community called Tabulam, west of the nation of the Bunjalam. I share this message. So our children and their children can be protectors of our sacred sites to maintain the spiritual journey that our old people left us for us to share. For today or tomorrow, the future is in our hands. No one else's but ours. So bringing people together is so important. It's a way of setting peace, conciliating before we, re we reconciliate, and sharing each other's songs and dances and stories is what it's all about. Because life is a spiritual journey as we walk this land. As the caretakers of this country, and I as a grandfather, to my own personal family, and to the broader family of many rivers of this one nation. Because we are all on a spiritual journey every day. For all eternity of corroborates, our dream will never end unless it's right. So as the ancient people from past, present and future I acknowledge the freedom and the peace that you are guiding every, every spiritual leader to the end of the sphere. The boomerang, as we return the spirit back to this land, is also the message. And then the shield is protector of our children. as I wanting to share this vision of a sovereign flag. That I am in the process of now creating for my nation. Of the thirteen rivers. Of the thirteen rivers.
when we all get together, it's all about, all about sharing the spirit again of what was taken away a long, long time ago when the first bastardization came to our country and took away our laws, our rights of being human in our own land. So creating a message through the pain and the gain because of how people were born in blood and chains. You know. So we're gonna share this story which which was wasn't long ago. So it's a message to leave the children alone. No more rattling keys and snapping locks and bolts. They gotta let our children be free so they can see the future of who they want to be. The old people, no more locking them away in old people's homes and taking them and misusing and misguiding their stories. So a spiritual journey belongs to all of us for the future of our rights of being human. So, there are big messages, and with those messages come songs and dances. The message is about protecting our country. So all the stories that I sat back and I watched and watched over the years, a long time, put it all together. And come out with this message, that life is a spiritual journey. So the future, with all these mineral rights and all these mining industries coming to our country, CSG. A carbon project that creates protection for our family, our country, to maintain our sacred sites and utilize them again. To grow proper bush tucker, medicines, vegetables and herbs, and fruit, all from this land, to maintain the spiritual journey once again. It always come back to that spiritual journey. Because when we are all dead and gone, we are going back to the spirit land. So life begins again with our people through our totem, our sacred family totems, which is so important to us. And the respect of your great-grandfather, your great-grandmother. The stories that they shared has got to be shared and cared for. Because every story that they told or will tell, it's a message. It's not just a story. So, Bogle Bay, good thank you. And I hope the spiritual journey will defeat the government.
happening uh, in Brisbane. Uh, have you got anything specifically that you'd like to express to those representing other nations at that meeting? Well, it all depends who's up there representing us down here as a nation. And it all depends if they are going to get outvoted eh? or get pushed aside because their words ain't good enough. So a message to all, a carbon project will solve the problem for the future of the sacred land. A carbon project that'll, that'll get rid of all the old trees that were growing back then. Eh? You get rid of them. Some of them trees are all growing and they are called mongrels. They are crossed over trees. So we chop them old trees down and, and because we don't want them strains no more. We want our old strain back, the first original trees. So it's hard to get them kind of strains. So we create it for future generations. Because when we chop that tree down, we mulch it all up, we make fuel, we make oil. And then we go and clean the desert up and clean all the mountainsides and the oceans with all that oil and petrol and diesel. Clean up our country, a message, mm. big message. That's all we ask, is to clean our country up. Pay respect to the sacred country. This is the only country that we got. It's the only country that looked after us for so many, so many generations way back to since first light, this country cared for us and we cared for it. So the message to the mob out there, be good if everyone would come together, support, it's so important, this is the future, this is our last chance our roll, the last roll of the dice, what they call it. Mm. So, we all got to come together. There be marches happening every day up there. On that Friday, there be corroboree, international corroboree on Saturday with all the indigenous people from around, all around the world. So it's... Speaking it's, speak that from November 9th. Yes. That week. Yes. Where about it? Musgrove Park. Park. There'd be a big mob there. Big mob. So we we need all the support we can. Hey, because I don't like saying it, but I gotta say it to let the people know and let the truth know because we had no witnesses back then when this happened. But today we had all walks of life. People from all around the world are here as our witness. So we can never ever be called liars in our own country. We can never ever be called thieves in our own country again. And murderers in our own country again. So it's so important to maintain our culture and maintain our spirit of this land to keep the spiritual journey today or tomorrow. And then we create a big road train after the G20 summit. And then we all travel together down to Canberra like a big mighty serpent driving down the middle of Australia, down the Hay Plains and circle the embassy let them know that we are the spirit of this land as one. A rainbow serpent. 
sleeping lizard will come together once again to make peace. For all walks of life as their witness. January 26, last man standing. One more chance. We got the rights to be human again. We got the rights to our land instead of land rights. We want our council of elders to give us permission for the land instead of land council today. Native title, we ain't naive people. Eh? We are the original. We are a spiritual being of the sacred land. The oldest living culture in the world. An I degree in spiritual law. We still share the spirit of this land with so much peace, enjoyment, laughter, and unconditional. With so much respect for the understanding that we believe in. And the spirit of this land is what we believe in. May I bore be. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. And in regards to you, I commented about the government. Uh, in this case, I wanted to clarify uh, what the government is in, in your reference because I'm aware that uh, we currently have a boat person as our um, Prime Minister, uh, someone who actually wasn't even born on this land, who now dictates to other people in coming to this great land uh, certain terms and conditions. What, what do you feel you'd like to say to people about their welcomeness to come to this land? Well, first of all, there were no invitations that was written to the people because we didn't understood their language. We didn't understood who they was. Are you referring to the original? So I'm going to ride back. I'm going to ride back when they first come to the country and, and, and done this. Because that's how it all started. It never started now. Mm. You know, it all started right back then. You know, to come forward, you know, right to now of all the authorization. Because, like I said before, we had no witnesses back then. They just moved us off our land and said that there was no one there. Right? Of course, we couldn't speak our tongue. This is the reason why they live in our country today and got all our sacred land. Right? Give us the Bible, take our land, which is wrong. Right? So, the government... It, I'll sum it all up. The government turned our people into community liars, thieves, and murderers. So easy and so quick within 230, 250 years. You know, not even 300 years. Okay? But the understanding of that is we got over the fear. This is what we want to teach the government. Okay? I got over the fear. Okay? Some other people got over the fear. And we just want to go on forward. We just our children and their children are the future. It's all about the future, not about now. It's not about what's happening now. You know, these 75 year draft, 25 year draft, 35, it's, it's, it's real. Because we don't live long. Not in this society with all the poisoned foods. So this carbon project, what we create and comes with our bush tucker, our medicines, our proper medicine for our body for our immune system. Our body is different to other humans. We are different. We are different people. Our body and immune system is so, so, so fragile because we never had all this. We never had all this. But we look at things because we get over the fear and forgiveness is the biggest thing that we, we can ever do. Okay? It's 
to open our heart up and forgive the people. Forgive those who've done wrong, you know. We forgive them. We stay only just forgot. Right? We feel sorry for them because we know who we are. Too willing to share the story. Right? But the government is just a, a private organization that came to New South Wales under the Commonwealth law, under the Union Jack, which is wrong. Took away our rights like I said, of being human in our own land. But strength upon us all as we walk this sacred land today as one. Okay? Peace upon us all as we share the songs and dances of this oneness of this land. Mm. It's the understanding that we got to believe in now and it's the future of our grandchildren and their grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know it. Yeah. They're pointing up. Up there, I've got another mob waiting for me up here now. Oh, okay. Um, I've got, well, yeah. got an issue up there. Well, I just wanted to say, like, just to, to bring this back to the we've all got a personal connection with what you might be, what you're saying. Um, my, my dad was a boat person. And he now kind of resonates with some of the rhetoric that our current Prime Minister um, says, and which is seems very critical to me, that you've come here and now you're telling everyone else that they don't have a right to come here, which is what you have. And I'm certainly not complaining because my dad came here and I have a connection with this mm -hmm. land and it's through my birth on this land. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle, you know, between... Yeah. Yeah. You know, having been an original, uh, yet I have a connection with the earth. So everyone's hearing this story and yes. has to create culture. If you're saying we're walking as one, yeah. there must be a solution where we're walking forward together rather than being stuck in an argument that we're never solved because yeah. it, it happened before. Yeah, we're, we're walking, we learn from we're walking towards the future. We're walking to the end of the spear tip with our grandchildren and their grandchildren and their grandchildren. It's not going to go backwards no more. So the last man standing on the day that we associate with uh, where colonisation came to this land, last man standing, what does it mean to people? Why would they come it's, there? It's freedom. Stand? It's freedom. Freedom for people. It's freedom for people. It's freedom for our country. We want the government gone. We want to control our own country now. We've got enough smart people to do everything under our jurisdiction. Proper law. Everything that what they got here today, every registered government body, we got it. Every Aboriginal person, uh, person working in there. Okay? So we are smart people. We are all coming together to be smart. And that's why we got all these smart people out there doing it, Aboriginal people. Going to universities, learn their tongue, learn their ways of thinking. Do this way, do it this way. It was trained by our old people through the blood, our genealogy. The Guri Unlimited Trust. Is a gut feeling hey, of our genealogy, unconditional theory. You know, it's so real. Hey, because every time I get a gut feeling, I know everything's going to be all right. So the gut feeling for people who have come to this land and they feel like they own some of this land and they've, they want to protect what they now feel that they have, what, what do you have to say to, to those people? That yeah, well, no harm in sharing. <laughs> no harm in sharing. No harm in walking up there and knocking on the door and say, excuse me, brother or sister, or uncle or auntie, would I be able to have about 10, just 10 yards or maybe 50 yards of a little block down near the river of your property so I can grow vegetables and mm. proper medicine, save you for us going to the shop. And can we do that? Mm. Can you show? Can you give us a little bit of land just to do this? And yeah. We'll support you with your fresh veggies and herbs and medicine. Mm. Yeah, I'm and, 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 we'll, and we'll just keep on growing more veggies for you. Yeah. Food is the most sacred thing on this land, also. Yeah. Food and water. Yeah. So these are kind of the people that I like to go to, to all the, the cowboys, uh, the, you know, them fellas. All the cow cockies all around, you know what I mean? Knock on your door and ask them. Just a little block of land in the corner near the fence.
friends down in the river to grow veggies for you. And it's what you call conciliating. You know what? Mm. To support them so CSG won't come into their country. Yeah. You so know bringing energy back into our state. It's all right. And it's sharing it with the cow, cow copies, with the ones who with all the old stories. Mm. You know what? From right back then when the first bastardization happened. Which is conciliation. And that's a conciliation. That's we've got to conciliate. It's the first time. We've yes. You know what? Now it's conciliation. Yeah. Right? Now we've got to reconciliate with the government. See, you understand? So the old cowboys with all these old stories, some of them old cowboys' grandfathers might have been the one who had a license to kill Aboriginal person. See, and that only stopped back in the 70s, back in my country, eh? back in Tabula, you know where Western nation was. Hmm? And that one still carries some sort of guilt. So, so they had these templates with all these little one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that's all the people how much they killed on this template plate. So some of these, they their, their grandsons and their sons are still living in our communities today, even here in, in, in Nimbin, Lismore Casino, eh? Kyogo, eh? Mwulumba, Warwick, all these places, there's all still them old people are still there, still alive today and through their genealogy of their grandchildren today, that's why you get racism. Eh? So much hate for Aboriginal people, which is wrong. But we can get over the fear. Forgiveness, we just forgive them. It doesn't worry us, we wouldn't make that. It was only the brutality and the mentality that the non-indigenous people brought to our country. You know, it's the only brutality and the abusive language that our people heard and picked up from the non-indigenous. We had no swear words in our language, we had no bad, bad words to say to each other, never. It was so spiritual. Our life was a spiritual journey. So sovereignty is a spiritual journey right to the last man standing. So Bugalbe, I hope you understood the message that being sovereign is a spiritual journey. No way. No way. Interesting. Bugalbe.